Hey guys, in this video we are going to see how to use logical expressions to filter JSON arrays. So the agenda of this video is onto your screen now. I would cover what are filters, why do we need filters, what is the syntax, some commonly used filter operators and finally some examples. So what are filters? Filters are logical expressions used to filter JSON arrays. In some scenarios, it is required to filter the JSON data to only those objects which match to a specific criteria. An example of JSON path expression with a filter is this. Okay, so you have the root element at the start followed by the opening and closing square brackets since we are working with JSON arrays. And inside that you start with a question mark followed by the round parentheses and inside that you write the expression. Okay, so this add symbol represent each item and this age is basically nothing but the property that is associated with these items. Okay, then you have this operator equal to and then you specify the criteria value okay so this particular filter expression would return you sample okay from this particular JSON array data set now an expression that specifies just a property name such as you know at the rate symbol dot age okay matches all items that have this property regardless of the value all right but aren't you wondering why do we require filters when we can access the JSON array items using index? We learnt index, union and slice expressions in last video. Well, in that video I also said index approach works really well with primitive types like string, number, boolean and null. However, it is not advised to use index when array items are of type object and in such cases we filter json data set using filter criteria. okay now look at this example so in here we have got two json arrays okay the content of these arrays is same okay however the order of these item is different so in the first one okay the first item has got the ID 1, second item has got the ID 2. By the other one, it's reversed. So ID number 2 is at the top and ID number 1 is at the end. Okay. Now, if we follow the index approach, okay, so we're going to say the root element is dollar followed by square brackets, right? And inside that you mention the index. Okay. So let us fetch the name of first item. Okay. So when we run this query for the first array, the output would be John Doe because in here John Doe is the first person object. But in this case, okay, the output would be Tina Smith. All right. So this particular expression is not giving me the desired output. Okay. Well, the expression in itself is correct. Okay. But this kind of thing is let's imagine that a person okay today enters in this particular order tomorrow the same person may decide to reverse the order right it's it's something that we cannot control the order of the items in the array is beyond our control all right so in such cases when the order is not fixed all right guys index approach is not the right solution okay and you guessed it filters come to the rescue. So if the idea of using filters is sold to you, then you might be interested in knowing the construct of building filter expressions. All right. So dollar is the root node. Since this is a JSON array, we put opening and closing square brackets after dollar sign. Inside opening and closing square bracket, we first write the question mark followed by the round parentheses and inside these parentheses we write the filter expression in filter expression at the rate symbol refers to the current node being processed and then we have a bunch of operators to check each item against a specific condition so in this example we are filtering down the json data set to a subset of json array in which each item has got age property equal to 53 and from there on we are retrieving their names okay let's see this practically so here is my json array 
and let's follow the syntax first root element okay then since this is an array we provide the opening and closing square brackets and inside that instead of index we are going to write down a filter expression so we first put the question mark followed by round brackets okay and inside that if i just say at this represents each item okay and then guys we say dot we provide in age now if you just mention age it is going to look out for all the items which have got this property so for example if i decide to take this out all right so then it would be excluded from the evaluation result all right now next thing we have to provide in the operator so we say double equal to which stands for equal to now we are checking that each item in the list has got the age 53 all right so we see the filtered result likewise guys you have many more other operators so you can say not equal to and then this particular record is excluded all right same way you have less than 53 all right so then you see this data okay and you say less than equal to so then this record is also added so guys here is the list of some most commonly used filter operators okay so we have seen the example of double equal to all right one thing that you have to note is that when you're working with the string values make sure that you enclose them in single quotes and not double quotes all right so then you have not equal to and you have greater than greater than equal to less than less than equal to not this is used to negate a filter so for example if we use this expression it matches items that do not have the age property and you also have logical and used to combine multiple filter operations remember both the conditions should be true in case of n to have the true output okay then you have or logical operator one condition at least one condition has to be true for the output to be true okay in checks if the left side value is present in right side list okay like this is like the sql in operator again string comparison is case sensitive not in is opposite of in it checks that the left side value is not present in the right side list string comparison again is case sensitive all right let's look at some of the examples to get better hold of filter expressions case one is identify the name of people older than 44 years so guys the first thing that we have to do is we have to identify all the objects which satisfy to this condition okay and then using the dot operator we are going to find the name of those people record all right so in this particular data set there are two records whose age is greater than 44 john doe and sam bell so this should be our output okay so how do we write it again we start with the dollar symbol this represents a root element since this is json array so you provide in those square brackets you put in that question mark and round parentheses and the moment you write at the rate symbol okay you have got access to each of these objects okay once you have access to each of these objects you just say dot age all right so it is going to give you all those objects which have got this property age so once you are there all you have to do is you have to check that the age is greater than 44 okay so it is going to filter down to these two records okay now in these records you have this name property okay so you just say dot name all right and you get this result then comes guys name of the people who are 29 years old now guys i'm only gonna concentrate on this particular condition since i've already explained all the constructs in here all right so we say at which again focuses on these items and then on these items we have the age property so therefore we're saying at the rate dot age double equal to 29 okay so then we'll get this record and from this record we are accessing the name property using the dot notation okay so therefore we get ross taylor now in here name of the people who are not sample okay so again at the rate dot name not equal to sample is in single quotes all right then comes guys id of the people where name is sample and age is 53 okay so we are going to use the logical and operator both the conditions should be true to 
have the output as true okay so therefore we say at the at the rate dot name double equal to sambil and at the rate dot age is equal to 53 so it is going to give us this particular record and then we use dot id and it is going to give us three back all right so the next example is id of the people where name is sambil or age is less than 35 okay so where name is equal to sample so this record will be picked or okay so this is or age is less than 35 so then we'll get this one and this one all right so therefore you see ideas two three and four id of people whose age is in the list 29 32 so you just say at symbol dot age in 29 32 not in again you just say n i n and 29 32 and then this is what you get all right so that's all from this video feel free to join me in the next one thanks for watching